Well, hello there. I'm David Lewis. I'm the uh, training director for the Dallas region of Destination Imagination, coming to you from the uh, from the facilities of uh, Christar International, uh, and I do appreciate their their generosity in uh, letting us uh, sit down and and just get together over uh, over over our training series of what appraisers wish team managers knew. And today we're going to talk about the really important issue of a team choice element. How do you go about choosing a team choice element? Some of you may not even know what a team choice element. It is kind of uh, not my business because it's the team's choice, right? But uh, let me break it down pretty quickly. And first off, if you're, if you're uh, appraising, if you're managing a, an improv team, you don't have to worry about this because the whole thing is their team choice element. Uh, but for everyone else, uh, this is this is one of those things where ideally it's set there for a team to show off their talents and skills in a uh, in a place and a method that's not required elsewhere in the challenge. We're going to get back to uh, that that particular point, but uh, I'm I'm even going to tell you something about Sissy Spacek. So hang on till the end for that. Uh, so, team choice elements are those things that that your team does that they want to show off uh, that they think that maybe nobody else has. If you've got someone who can juggle, if you've got someone who can uh, play violin, if you've got someone uh, who can tap dance, Any of those kinds of things uh, work out well. Now, your team choice element is going to be scored one-third on how creative it is. It's going to be scored one-third on uh, the workmanship that's, that's evident, how much practice went into that tap dance routine, how much, uh, how much skill went into painting that, that portrait, how much uh, of all that, and one-third for, for how well it integrates into the story. And for the purposes of, our cha of, of any challenge, the word integration means not just does it fit in, but how essential is it to the story? Would the story make any sense without that? That's the gold standard of integration is that if she hadn't done the tap dance, the story wouldn't have made any sense at all. So... These are, the, these are the kind of skills, the individual skills that you'll find... Uh, and, and these are relatively common, although I've only seen juggling twice in 26 years. But I know that in the, uh, in the, uh, the, the team roadmap, there's, there, there are things uh, that you go through as to, uh, as to how to uh, find, find out what your team's skill, uh, skill inventory is. Uh, and that's, that's really good. Uh, and yet, I can break it down even more simply, and that is the eyes and the ears. Ask yourself, can an appraiser see this? Can they evaluate it based on what they see? Can they evaluate it based on what they hear? Uh, we're not really supposed to touch anything in your performance. Uh, we can't taste it. We can't smell it. So, so we're down to those two senses. It's can, what can you see? What can you hear? So uh, uh, just start out with a, with a simple game of can you do this? And, and you know, each, each team member says, well, I can, uh, I, can, I can play the Star Spangled Banner on a rubber band. Can you do this? No, but I can, I can play it on a cigar box uh, banjo. Uh, can you do this? No. And, and, and they go and, and go around, no, but I can run with scissors. Not a good idea, but I can. I, but that would be one of the the things that they might list as a skill. You can discourage it later. Uh, but you you do that. You you find out what the appraisers are going to be able to see. Think of it as as your your input uh, channels. The 
eye and the ear. And then you, you exclude what's, re what's required. Wait a minute, David. What, what did you say that for? The challenge is requiring all these other things. What do you mean exclude that? Well, let's say, for example, that your challenge requires a mobility prop, something that's got wheels and it's going to, going to be moved around and, and used in certain capacities in your story. And so your team says, ooh, we can do a really, really, we did a really, really good paint job on that. Uh, the, a guy from a, from a car dealership came around and saw that and, and, and wanted to hire us to work in the body shop. We're really proud of this paint job. And so they say, here's what we'll do. We'll make the, the paint job our team, cho team choice element. Now, you can do that. But let's say that the mobility prop is worth 40 points. The team choice element is worth 30 because there are two of these. And they say, we're going, to, we're going to take this mobility prop, the paint job, and say, we want you to evaluate the paint job. All right, so the team choice element gets, gets evaluated, and it gets, we take the, the, the paint job and kind of cut it out of the mobility prop. We say, all right, look at the quality, look at how creative the, the paint job was. The fact that you that you did it like to look like a ladybug is really cool, and uh, and it was extremely well done, and uh, and it actually fit very well into the the program. Uh, it fit very well, and you're going to score 25 of your 30 points. 25 of your 30 possible points. That was really awesome, but the mobility prop now has to be evaluated on the basis of what would it be like if there were no paint job? Well, it would fulfill a couple of requirements, and so it's worth 18 of 40. Well, you, you, just, you just cut out of a bigger chunk in order to, to score this. That is, that is a, the, the term is called double dipping among some of the appraisers, among most of the appraisers. And the problem with double dipping is that uh, is one, you make them work harder by, by having to say, okay, I'm going to exclude that. I'm going to exclude the helmet made with, made with plastic spatulas. Cool as it is, I have to think of it without the spatulas and, and say, well, it's a so-so helmet now. So when you, do, when you do that, you're better off going to some, something uh, that isn't required at all. That's where you get a chance to shine. I mentioned Spissy, Sissy Spacek. Uh, some people, some of you may know that uh, her very first role, dramatic role, in a high school pre presentation, she didn't get the lead. She didn't get a part in the, uh, in the play. It was the big high school play her senior year, and she didn't get any parts. And so she went and pestered the teacher until she finally got a part written in for her that she was a little girl who was always trying to get her daddy's attention by doing push-ups. And so throughout, the, uh, throughout the, uh, the play, she kept running out there. She got no lines. She'd drop, drop to the floor and give him 20. It got her on stage. It got her there. It, it really managed to, to get the, the audience saying, what is that girl's problem? And... As, as things go, as they went through the play, she started making it clear that she was trying to get daddy's attention. She managed to carve it out when there wasn't anything written in the play for her. She managed to make a part for herself. That's what a team choice element should be. That's how you should go about it. So, uh, so just remember that if the challenge doesn't require it, and it doesn't take anything away from any, anything else that the challenge does require. Uh, there might be a way to highlight the effort that went into, the, into it, and it has a chance at being integrated in the story. That's your ideal team choice element. Uh, and the sooner you think about this, I realize that you, that you can't be thinking about this in September, but, uh, but 
let's say you know late December, early January, you should be saying these are our two team choice elements. You, this is not something to be decided on the way to the tournament. It's really not something to be decided while the prep area appraiser is saying, well, no, that's already something that's being scored elsewhere. Uh, do you have something else? That's not the time that you want to be doing it. So look at your team choice element. Think of it as a chance to let that special talent that's hidden in your team come out and shine.